right, Keith, this Friday night rain is kind of setting the tone for almost yeah. the next seven days. That, yeah. They tried to make that show, Friday Night Lame, Rain. It didn't do as well as Friday Night Lights. That was turned off. <laughs> yeah, the Friday same. Night Lame, that's Just, exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You can hear it on our... Uh, Tin roof. Our roof oh, here, yeah. It it's, was bad during your first hit. Was it? It was very loud. I was up in the uh, part of the studio that was constructed correctly. Yes. So I didn't hear it at that time. But <laughs> but yeah, it's coming down now on the coastline. But you know, not a lot of thunder in there. There's a couple of lightning strikes, so just be aware of that if you're heading out. There's still a few being picked up. Most of the action today, though, has been in the mountains and foothills and still is. And look at this towards Bangor. That's some really heavy stuff up there uh, over to Bar Harbor as well. But most of the heavier stuff along the coast has died out, and we're seeing a second round here into the mountains, this King Field, Carabasset Valley going down into Farmington too. They've seen several rounds and uh, quite a bit of small hail. I've got a lot of pictures. None of the hail was substantial, little stuff, but uh, pinging around out there as the cloud tops were just high enough for that. Back to our cold front coming through, has already come through across northern Maine. Temperatures go down and the rain comes offshore here over the next few hours. Once that front clears all the way to the south, it'll be less about thunderstorms and more about showers and it changes our whole feeling for the next really week or so. This backdoor cold front is going to sink and just change the whole situation. So tomorrow we've got a lot of clouds around and notice that there's not a ton of rain to be had here in the middle of the day, but there's not a lot of sun to be had either. Maybe northern Arista County, but the rest of us socked in low level clouds. Uh, and a couple of sprinkles around. And then in the afternoon, we pulse a couple more showers up. But again, not a lot of total rain. Look at these temperatures, though. Upper 40s, low 50s. It's pretty rough. It's about 20 degrees cooler than average for this time of the year. And then on Sunday, the rain tries to rotate back in and we perhaps, especially along the coast, get into some more consistent rain. Sunday midday into the afternoon temperatures are equally as balmy in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So we talked about yesterday the two different scenarios. The European model had a washout of a weekend. The GFS was more progressive and it was nicer. They kind of ended up meeting in the middle in which nobody really wins because we're still cloudy and showery. We really would be better off with the GFS solution, but it just isn't going to happen. It looks like it'll be in the middle there with clouds and showers. So look at this low and you don't need to know a ton about weather, which is great because I don't either to know that the rain just keeps on coming. Look at this, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's not raining the whole time, right? But there's a lot of green on that map, which is not really what you wanna see. So total rainfall amounts, the European model thinks two to three inches, but it'll take all week to get there, guys. So I don't think we'll have any flooding concerns. Mm -hmm. it'll, just, it'll just be dreary. And it's, it's, you know, a couple of peaks of sun in there. Maybe I put one in Monday, in Wednesday, in Thursday morning, just to uh, create some hope there. Um, hmm. I think there will be a few breaks, but I just think overall it's quite unsettled this week, and it takes until late in the week to break out of it. Maybe we can get in better shape for kind of next weekend. That's that's really what we're looking at at this point, you know. Yeah. You so. know, with the dry and windy conditions we had had for a little while, I know there was some concern about fire danger, so right. maybe this is coming at the right time. Yeah, well, certainly for our Canadian neighbors, this will be yeah. this will be good news. And we'll, we'll get on the other side of it eventually.